This is question six for um, the OCR AS economics video. Um, past paper June 2013. Now, um, this question is uh, six marker. As you can see on the board, I've sort of labelled it out. Two marks for application, two for analysis, and two for comments. So, how can we use this um, to answer this question? Well, the question says, comment on the likely um, impact of consumers' information failure in tan excel in for some beds and tan acceleration uh, products. So, um, first thing you need to say is for application. So you need to say what's bad about the uh, thing. So we said it's damaging health. Um, and you need to say how it damages health. Um, so uh, we said um, so. For application here, you could use this. So um, one point you can make: um, if consumers, if some beds are used before 30, people could uh, increase the risk of getting cancer. So increased risk of cancer, and I'm just going to pull that down. So increased risk of cancer. So we talked about that for one point. Um, another point you could put: it says. Um, Obviously, cancer is shorter than life expectancy. Um, and it. Yeah, just put there. So it reduces the quality of life. So, quality of life. So, this basically may not be able to do things you could do before of life. This just it's just from the sun, but not necessarily the cancer that's caused, just the quality of life decreases if you're like an orange peel. Um, so your two application there. Now your two for analysis. Um, so it says you get two marks for economic analysis. This is just means putting it in context of the um, uh, economy. So uh, it says there are demerit goods uh, leading to overconsumption. So the analysis is basically just saying, well, why is this bad? Why do people not? Why do people overconsume it basically? So you say, um, so for two for analysis, so these are your two for application, I'll corner it off. Your two for analysis, so these are two different points that you make. So one point is for risk of cancer, I'll just sort of cut it off into halves, and you sort of go from there. So your risk of cancer, uh, your analysis mark for cancer might be, um, oh actually no, you can, actually two separate points, you can include it in one point. Then I was doing that. So basically, um, there's a risk of cancer. And you can the quality of life decreases, and they are demerit goods because people don't realise how bad they are for them. So demerit goods, you sort of go on to explain that. So they are demerit goods because uh, people are unaware due to information failure how bad the good actually is for them. So they overconsume, so over leading to overconsumption. So they're consuming more than the socially optimum equilibrium. Overconsumption. So that's uh, one of the things with the demerit good. Um, so you get two, mer you two marks there, one for saying demerit goods, one for saying over consumption. So that's you. So we've got two marks for application saying there's a risk of cancer, uh, which could, if we use this point here, we picked out four. If some better, you'll be thought it's 30, it increases the risk by 75%. And that says to the examining, yes, I've read the case study, give me a mark. Quality of life decreases, uh, demerit goods leading to over consumption. So this is explaining why people do that. So people, you say, well, very good that there's an increase in risk of cancer and quality of life, but people do it because they don't realise this, um, because demerit goods actually can lead to overconsumption. Now, there are a couple of things of information failure there that we'll uh, look on at later in times. Um, so, comment. So, you say, well, yes, this is the uh, impact. We know this has happened, but what does it depend on? That's your comment mark. So, first of all, we've taken and we've said, this is our point. Uh, we've told the analysis, we've said, this is why this happens, so the analysis caused the consequences. So we said, uh, demerit goods leading to overconsumption, that's an analysis point taken further. So what we've done for question six so far, we've brought out the point, we've said, this is our point, we said, increased skin cancer and decreased quality of life. Now we've taken that on and we said, yes, people do this because um, there's an, they don't realise it because of information failure, hence it's overconsumed because people don't realise how bad it is for them. So, that's two analysis marks. You two comment marks are saying, yes, well, what does this depend on? Now, in the mark scheme, it says uh, it depends on the 
event uh, had an extended information failure, so people could realise, and if they don't, if they don't completely realise, they go, well, yeah, I get it, but um, there's little bits here and there that I don't get. So, I mean, I know it's bad for me, but I don't realise how bad. I mean, I know there's, it depends on the extent. It's the people's opinions. Not everyone knows the same amount of information about some beds. So, uh, that's the point. So, it depends on the extent of the information failure, so how thick the person is, depends on the extent of the information failure, extent of uh, the information failure, now just to make it out clear now before I write next, but you get information failure in three ways, uh, basically uh, the person doesn't get the information, uh, because it's not given to them, it's not the correct information, or they know the information, they uh, know it's bad for them, but they don't act on it, so it's three points that could happen. Just, you don't need to specify that in this case, um, but that is just a point that you might want to make. You don't get any marks, right? I don't think, in the mark scheme. Uh, no, we don't. Um, yeah, so, you could say, depends on the extent of information failure, and you could say, well, uh, people could, well, People could know it and they choose not to ignore it. So, two for application. So, we've got what we've done for this question. We've said, yes, we know skin can we know some beds are bad because it causes skin cancers. It says increases risk by 30, 75% if you're under 30 when you first use it. Um, so, that's one point, and we've said that. And then we've gone on to say there's quality of life decreases. So, increases skin cancer, quality of life decreases. We said this is a demerit good because it's over consumed because people don't realise how bad it is for them. And then we've gone on to say, yeah, well, it depends on if people ignore it or they don't know about it, and that gets you your two marks. So, six marks, so two marks for application, two marks for analysis, two marks for comment. So, comment is your judgment. So, you say you don't come up with a conclusion, you can do it all in one paragraph if you want to. <coughs> <coughs> Let me just die in there. <coughs> so, I have too much into the economics, so. So, two marks for uh, application. So, you say, yes, well, this. Is the problem skin cancer and um, quality of life decreases? The amount of goods are so consumed, and this depends on uh, the extent of the information failure or people act on it or not. So that's your uh, sort of overview of question six. I'll move out of the way uh, so you can note it down. So zoom in is like a, a weird sort of ending to the video. Um, so that's the question six over and done with. Uh, hopefully, you've got that next one to be question question seven. It's uh, one of the nastier ones, it's on uh, regulation. So if you're doing it this year and you're watching this video, um, I'd hate to say it's it not going to come up and it comes up, because this is one that I hate. So if, if you're watching OCR, don't put it on, otherwise, you know, it, I won't do well. Um, but saying that, I, I've got it right in my book, so... Uh, anyway, see you in the next video.